Hello, Scorpio. This is your mid July 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Scorpios. I'm hoping it will reach many of you. But I wanted to get to it. Scorpio, July, mid July 2018. Five card spread, Scorpio. Mid July 2018, Scorpio. want to get this out. I know you've been having like, I don't know, a little bit of trouble in, in the past. I I get different readings for different Scorpios all the time. So I don't know if I'll reach the same Scorpios as last month or the month before. Kind of be kind of nice because I like to know more about you also for those in the past. Let's get this out. Let's find out what's going on. Completion occurred. <clears throat> this is also a lot of times a, a happy situation, a completion that's happy. Uh, it's a beginning energy. It's what's starting out. So it's like something ended, but not exactly in a negative way. You completed something that made you very happy. It could be family, job, almost like I don't know. In the past, you had the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is sorrow. You did have some sorrow. And it's in the upright. Let's find out more of what that is before I go any further. Three of Swords, why are you there in the past for Scorpio? Sorrow along with it, disappointment, three of cups spilt, not seeing the two cups behind you. Something really broke your heart, Scorpio, or, or somebody else's heart that you are involved with. A lot of times when you get the three of swords, it's, it involves more than just one person. I need another card for the three of swords and the five of cups. A lot of disappointment there. Could have to do with the knight of swords energy. Now this could be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, not in that order, but they're in the upright. So this person could have been involved in that. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be just someone taking on that energy. So it's like maybe they broke your heart. You know, maybe there was somebody else in their lives because they're in the upright. Or maybe you are having trouble choosing. Let's see what the obstacle is. The obstacle is gain, maybe finances, getting things together, letting things grow in your life that are financially secure, emotionally secure. That's an obstacle. Let's find out why. Why is the Nine of Pentacles there for Scorpio? Nine of Pentacles, why are you there for Scorpio? Mid-July 2018. Holding back. It's like, I guess... A lot of you have to hold back a lot of things, and a lot of, and it could be very well finances because you got the four pentacles here. A lot of pentacles energy as your obstacle. So some of you may have to hold back finances, and maybe you don't want to, but you have to, or maybe you're having trouble holding back. Get another card for the nine of pentacles for Scorpio. You know, you're, you're, that's the Seven of Swords. It's in reverse, so you're no longer to keep things hidden. You can't keep it hidden, whatever's going on with these finances. It's like somebody knows that maybe you're having financial trouble, or maybe that's what you're try, attempting to do, hold back on finances. or And this could be emotions, too, not just finances. It could be relationships. Something, like I said, something in the past broke your heart. could very well have to do with finances, too. Now, the current environment in mid-July 2018. Nine of Swords. You're kind of all in your head. You're, you're not dealing with things very well. You're kind of preoccupied. This is Swords energy. It's mental. When it's mental, it, it means it's, it's invading your thought process. It's, 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 it's weighing you down. Nine of Swords, why are you there as the current environment? Get 
got a lot of you're having trouble walking away from a certain situation. That's the Eight of Cups. These are not really good cards for the current environment. I'm going to see if it gets better as this reading goes. But you're having a, a, a really big disappointment. Involved heartbreak. Could involve money also. Could involve, with, for some of you, a third-party situation. But not necessarily. Three of Swords means basically just heartbreak. And, and the Five of Cups is in the past, like I said, is disappointment. But something's really got you staying up at nights. So you're not sleeping well because you're not unable to walk away from the situation with the Eight of Cups. And it has to do with love. The Two of Cups. Or partnerships. That's the Two of Cups. It has to do with love. It really does. You're not unable to walk away. You're, you're stuck. In your head. Not sleeping well. Or maybe sleeping too much also. I see a lot of depression here. What is coming towards you? You see me stopping because I'm really concentrating on something. I'm really trying to concentrate on other meanings. What you got coming towards you or what other people are thinking. I'm thinking this is what is coming towards you. is the Princess of Cups. Usually this is your energy, but like I said, this is coming towards you. So the Princess of Cups could be another Scorpio, could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces. They're coming towards you. So I see so far two different individuals possibly carrying on that energy of water and air. Now what else is, what else is going on with the Princess of Cups? What is she bringing with her? Or maybe I'll get two separate things. What is coming towards Scorpio? Mid-July 2018. A little imbalance. She's in the upright, but what's coming with her is a little imbalance. And maybe someone's carrying a burden. Maybe this person is coming towards you, cannot give you what you want right now for some of you, because they feel un unbalanced and have a strong burden on their back. Saturn cards, the Ten of Wands, they're carrying a heavy burden, this person that's towards you. They themselves are in the upright, so maybe this is an outside influencing burden, putting a burden on them and causing an imbalance somehow. And maybe this is this person in this card that's going through this. Maybe this is a person that you're involved with. Because it can get, you know, crisscross here for some of you. Now, as an outcome for Scorpio, mid-July 2018. The end result, we got another possible person here. This is a Princess of Disc. She's also in the upright. I'm getting a lot. You saw me shuffle the cards. They can go back and forth with uh, reversals. But the Princess of Disc could be an Earth energy or someone that carries on that energy. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, I don't know. I think it's more of a Taurus. But I could be wrong. Could be a Virgo, I'm not sure. I'm, when I get these are Taurus. But for you as the masses, it could be any energy. Or like I said, someone's taking on that energy. And like I said, they're in the upright. They're sound. They're stable. they got good character, usually. All these people are in the upright. Why is the Princess of Dis the final outcome? She's unable to work out a situation. You're unable to work out a situation with this person as the outcome. you got possibly three-party situation going on. It doesn't necessarily have to be an affair, but some of you it may be. It's just you're dealing with more than one person that is causing a nightmare type situation and everybody's burdened. But it's not working out very well with this Princess of Disc. If this, if this is anybody you know, you can leave it in the comments. I do read my comments. I try to answer them, but I do answer them when I'm able to read them carefully. But the Princess of Disc, why is the Eight of Pentacles clarifying you. And it's in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. 
Queen of Swords, another person, or it could be the same air energy from the past. There's a Knight of Swords, now becomes Queen of Swords as the outcome, and she's in reverse. So something's not working out. You got one person upright, the other one gets really ticked off, the Queen of Swords, and she's going to let you know it. You got your hands full, Scorpio. You really do. Let's find out. Give me one more card. This is just for mid-July. I'm trying not to let it go further, but sometimes it does go beyond July, but it's going to start in July. One more card. Queen of Disc. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords in reverse. Why are you there? Yeah, you're going to have to possibly sit down and talk with these people because something's not working out. you got the Three of Cups here. could be a suggestion card, but it's about getting together, sitting down for drinks, sitting down for dinner, sitting down for coffee. It doesn't have to be alcohol. And trying to work this out because it's not happening. You're struggling. I think you're going to try to work this out, try to uh, make sense of it all, try to uh, calm the waters a little bit here. And here you got the Queen of Wands also in reverse. You got a lot of people in here. And you do have your hands full in July. Probably probably go a little bit past it, but we're hoping August brings us even better, you know, news. I do uh, meditate on these. And I keep it real. I'm not going to sit there and tell you something that is a lie just to get you to watch me. Okay? So you got your hands full. You're going to be dealing with this. And you're going to be talking a lot, trying to work things out with the Mercury card, the Three of Cups. And a lot, some of it has to do with love, not able to walk away yet, being up all in your head in a nightmare situation. And they may be feeling this way towards you also. So that is your... Overall reading, remember, that the overall ending energy is the Queen of Wands in reverse. And he'll have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you may want to calm this person down, possibly. They could be upset for a good reason, for all we know. So the key is the Three of Cups. Got your hands full. Talk to you later. Bye.